Hi friends. So Friday, June 5th is National Donut Day. And I thought to help you celebrate, I would read you a story and I would give you some ideas of some fun crafts you can do and some other fun activities to help you celebrate. So the story I'm going to read today is If You Give a Dog a Donut. If you give a dog a donut. And this is written by Laura Numeroff. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. And then he'll ask for some more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick some apples. And when he's up in the tree, he'll toss you an apple. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. He'll want to play. You will have to get a ball and a glove. And of course, he'll also need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He will hit a home run. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Urgh. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and some string. When the kite is finished, he'll want to fly it. It will go higher and higher. Until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree is going to remind him of apple juice. So he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks you for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go along with it. Hi friends. So we're going to show you how to do a craft to celebrate donut day. So the craft that we're going to make is called a donut friend. And so what you're going to need is a paper plate. You're going to need some strips of paper. It can be construction paper and it can be whatever color you would like. And then you could use some glitter. You're going to need some glue, some wiggly eyes, or if you don't have wiggly eyes, you can also just draw them on with markers or crayons. 
And you're also going to need markers or crayons. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut a hole out the middle of your plate, just like that. And then you're gonna color it with whatever color of crayon or marker you would like. You're gonna make sure you wanna color all of it all the way done. And then for our arms and legs, which is our strips of paper, you're going to want to make sure that you fold them accordion style. So it's back and forth so that they are kind of all like an accordion. They're all crumpled up. So you're just gonna start at the top and you fold it one way and then the other down all the way until you get all four of them. When you have all four of them, then you're going to glue them onto your paper plate. So Julia, if you will show them how to glue them onto the plate, you wanna make sure and glue it on the back of your plate. So you wanna turn your plate over, make sure you glue it on the back of your plate. Or at this point? Mm -hmm. So friends, what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue these strips onto the back of your paper. So, you're gonna take a drop of glue. Oh, okay. And you're gonna put it this way. And take the other strip and glue another thing on it. Again. So if the glue isn't working, you can always use tape also to put the legs and arms on your donut person. So Julia, let's show them how to do it with the tape. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your legs on the back of your plate. Take a little bit of tape. And it's not a little, but it's, a little, it's enough. And you are going to put... So you're, you're going to put your tape on your leg. And put tape in. Ah, uh, that's too much. I'm going to back in. And you're going to glue, and you're going to stick it on. So those are the legs so far. Yes. So now let's do the arms. So what you're going to need for the arms is you're going to take them. Oh, I'm stuck. You just get another piece. So I'm so sorry friends, I messed up a little and I'm doing it. I just do a little one. And friends, you're going to stick it on your arm on. And we're going to get another piece of it and then put it on your arm and put it on your other arm. And there, you have the arms and legs on your donut friend. Now it's time to decorate the front of 
your donut person. You can use, you can use glitter or confetti or star stuff or stars or stickers. Whatever you would like to decorate with. I'm gonna put glitter on mine. That wasn't really good. I can't really see it. Okay. And so what you're going to do is, is you have confetti, stickers, or stars, or glitter, you, you can add them on. So sometimes adults have to help with the glitter because it does pour out very, very fast. Yes, and I can't really do it because I'm a kid. Are we going to do green, green glitter too? Yeah, we're going to do green glitter too. That's all I want to do on mine. Okay, and so then you're going to want to shake your excess glitter off. Some. It was me to help with this. Now, the last part is that we're going to put some eyes on our donut friend. Yes, we are. You can either draw your eyes on with a marker or a crayon, or maybe your mommy has some wiggly eyes running around the house. Mommy. Okay. There's still glitter. It's okay. Okay, let's put our eyes on. Let's move some day glitter. And so you're going to put some glue first, wherever it wants to be. Okay. And then you are going to attach your googly eyes on. And there, you have your donut friend. And now once your donut friend dries, you and your donut friend can eat some yummy donuts. I'm pretty sure I'm going to eat my donut. <laughs> Today we're going to be showing you how to make another donut. So this one you can make it out of construction paper, paper plate, or even cardboard or poster board. So what you'll need to do is cut out your donut and make sure you cut out the middle of a donut. And I already cut out my donut too. And so out. for this donut, we're gonna decorate it with glitter and confetti. But you can use at your house if you don't have glitter or confetti, you can always cut up some construction paper or some ribbon and that can be your confetti. So Julia, why don't you show them how to make a donut? Okay, friends, so what you're going to do is you're going to do, so you're going to put on some glue, and it's, and you can do whatever type you want to. For mine, I want mine to be lines. Okay, boys and girls, um, uh, our gluing is all done. Next, um, if you have confetti or glitter, then you can put them on your thing. You can put them on your glue. Yeah. And so, boys and girls, this, and you can use glitter, to, and I'm going to use glitter next. 
and then just start the star glitter. So once you have some glitter on there, yes. you yeah. can shake it off. Yes, because I got a lot of glitter. And you can keep going. And when you're all done, a finished product will look something like that. Yes. So it's going to be star glitter, star glitter. Or if you can do it. Or you could do just star or just glitter. And you can celebrate with some yummy glittered donut. And you get to eat one real in real life. Hi friends. So now we're going to show you how to make some homemade donuts to celebrate National Donut Day using canned biscuits. So we have canned biscuits. We have some cinnamon sugar mm -hmm. right here in a bowl. Yes. And we have some melted butter. So we're going to open our can of biscuits. Yep, and then make are done in the air fryer wow. and they look really yummy. Mm. We'll grab our tongs here. Now we're going to use our butter and we're going to use a whisk and the jaw. There's our yummy donuts and now we're going to use that. So Julia if you can get that and brush that on top of our donuts. Now we're going to use our cinnamon and sugar and you're going to sprinkle it. Oh, hang on. We 
as little or as much as you want. Okay. And now we get to enjoy some yummy donuts. Don't these look so yummy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm eating. Yes, now we can eat it. Happy National Donut Day.